co-founder of Microsoft and the world's second richest man, Bill Gates, has praised Ireland for the strength it's shown in working towards economic recovery. In an exclusive interview with RTE, Mr Gates said he had confidence the country would return to growth. The billionaire was in Dublin for talks with the Taoiseach and Tánaiste on overseas aid. Good afternoon. He's the founder of Microsoft and the world's second richest man. But nowadays, Bill Gates devotes much of his time to charity work, forming a foundation and leading a campaign to fight hunger and disease in the developing world. It's that cause that brought him to Dublin today. The billionaire arrived at government buildings early this morning, where he met with the Taoiseach and Thonishta. Top of the agenda, development aid priorities for Ireland's EU presidency, as well as the EU budget the much-publicised drive to end polio and Ireland's economic woes. In an exclusive interview for RTE's Morning Edition programme to be aired next week, Mr Gates said Ireland had shown strength to bring about economic recovery. The basic uh, quality of the workforce and the you know, attractiveness as a, a place to live uh, you know, is still there shining through. And so, you know, as you had to make cuts and trade-offs, you know, slowly but surely, uh, the, those strengths are, are showing through. Mr Gates also praised the work of the European Union, saying he'd be surprised if Britain opted to leave. You know, the EU is, has been a fantastic institution. Uh, the single market has led to a lot of efficiency. Before departing for the World Economic Forum in Davos, Mr. Gates went to Arsa Nukdron, where he met with President Michael D. Higgins. Sinead Hussey, RTE News.